Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Shit, the devil's hit pay dirt with you, Antonio. Now, either you can go off and say Hail Mary, so you can do the Lord's dirty work. Well, the second option's more my bag. Some poor sinner confessed to fabricating a report on doping our country's finest athletes. If you were to stop him giving this to the FBI, innocent careers would be saved. Consider it done, Father. So what we have to do for this mission, for this mysterious reverend fella here at the cathedral, is get our hands on a, in quotation marks, falsified report on various uh, popular athletes here in the Grand Theft Auto universe who are allegedly doping or taking performance enhancing drugs, and it would be bad for their reputations if that kind of information got out, and for some reason the reverend cares, uh, so we're gonna help him out. Um, by getting our hands on this report and I guess destroying it or getting rid of it or doing something with it just to make sure that it doesn't get out to the public and all that and this whole thing kind of reminds me of BJ Smith in Vice City who would often make note of his steroid usage uh, in his playing days although I guess times have changed and uh, people don't want to necessarily advertise such things but um, either way uh, the reason for getting our hands on an FBI car is because we have to pose as an FBI agent, so that way the person with this report will give the report to us instead of the actual FBI. So, uh, you can use any um, FBI car you want, but the mission provides you with one in case you don't already have one. You're early! Hey, I don't know you! Where's John O? John O? He couldn't make it. Hey, that's John O. Give me that. Screw this. So the significance of turning the car around before the cutscene is because after the cutscene plays, the reporter runs away from you, and uh, if you just parked normally, like facing towards the wall, then you would have to do a U-turn and then... Uh, potentially let him get a bit of distance on you. Uh, so by already facing in that direction, it makes it to where it's pretty easy to just run him down, run him over, and then take the report. So, um, you know, th th there's a bit of a pro tip for you there, but, you know, just the tip. But anyways, though, um, this all seems a bit suspicious to me because uh, we have to drop the report off at the Liberty Tree headquarters here in Bedford Point. And it just seems suspicious because this is a news organization, so... Um, it seems like they might do something with this report. I know it's kind of like the back alleys and this is like a random garage here at the uh, Liberty Tree uh, headquarters, but um, <laughs> it just doesn't seem like the right thing to do. Maybe uh, destroying a car with the report inside of it would be a better idea, but I don't know. If this is what the uh, Reverend wants, then this is what he's going to get to remove our sins or whatever, so... Anyways, that completes this part. In the next part, we'll be doing the next mission for Father Ned, and that mission is called The Passion of the Heist. So until then, I will see you next time.